Hi there. This is my new Google Pixel 7 Pro, which I bought uh, on official Google Pixel store for 900 bucks. And with the smartphone, I also receive uh, as a gift a new Pixel watch. And this is pretty good deal, yeah? Today I will tell you where the magic of a Pixel is hidden and why everyone is talking about it as the best purchase. And also in this video, I will compare this smartphone with iPhone 14 Pro Max. So let's start and uh, I will start with the price. Indeed, nine. 100 bucks for the 128 gigabyte version of Pixel 7 Pro with Pixel Watch included is really great deal. If you're planning to use this watch, you have it for free. If not, you can sell it for 150 or 200 bucks. And in this case, uh, Pixel 7 Pro will cost you 700 or 750 dollars and this is really good deal however this promotion will end so let's talk only about official price 900 bucks even with this price uh, pixel 7 pro is cheaper for 200 bucks than iphone 14 pro max so it is necessary to understand uh, whether the pixel is not far behind or whether it really offers the same but for the less money and after this video i want to believe you, you will know which to buy okay let's talk about design i really like like the pixel design it stands out among other android smartphones and i like the new hazel color but be sure it is all about tastes iphone is also beautiful i like pixel design because uh, the camera model is more comfortable especially when you use your phone on the table pixel does not wobble on the surface when typing like an iphone but i also dislike the rounded edges of display the iphone is more convenient in this regard and in addition the diagonals of this uh, display are the same but the pixel smartphone is quite larger the glass on the back of the iphone is made and it is more practical because fingerprints are not collected and the iphone's frame is from steel the pixel has aluminium one so in my opinion iphone wins a little but there are still elements on the body and if usb type c with usb 3.2 completely destroys lightning with usb 2 then everything else is on the side of the iphone case space it on two sides are more convenient. The iPhone has a mechanical switcher to the silent mode, as well as MagSafe for various accessories, such as wallet, for example. So, as I said before, I think uh, the case of iPhone 14 Pro Max is uh, more practical just for me. Okay, let's talk about security and uh, unlocking methods. Before unlocking the smartphone, it must recognize you. The Pixel has two biometric recognition methods, a fingerprint scanner on the display, and also you can unlock smartphone using front camera. Yes, facial unlocked operated for the first time after Pixel 4. By the way, in Pixel 4 it was like uh, in the iPhone, but then Google removed it. Now it has been returned, but with the help of front camera you will not be able to make payments because it's not safe enough. Also, unlocking does not work in low light or when you are wearing glasses, because the smartphone cannot see your eyes. That's why I use only fingerprint scanner. It works much better than the Pixel 6 Pro. However, if your finger is slightly wet, it won't unlock. The iPhone 14 Pro Max only has Face ID, but it works almost perfect. There is no need to remove glasses and even a mask. After two weeks of using the Pixel, I can definitely say that unlocking and confirmation actions on the iPhone is more convenient. Now let's switch to the displays. I really like it uh, on the Pixel 7 Pro. There are no problems uh, here, as with the colors of the Pixel 2 XL. It's just cool. 6.7 inches display with Quad HD resolution. This is an LTPO AMOLED screen with HDR10 Plus support. And the frequency is automatically adjusted from 10 to 112 Hz. The maximum brightness is uh, 15 100 nits. It's really nice to watch your videos, play games and edit photos on such a display. Only with purely numbers with the screen of uh, iPhone 14 Pro Max, you can see that uh, iPhone screen can change uh, frequency from 1 Hz to 112, so it is uh, more energy efficient, especially when you are using always on display. Also, when watching a video on iPhone, you can use uh, 24 Hz and only 60 on NPixel. But even HDR content on the iPhone is 
brighter and there are more details in the dark areas of the video. So, in terms of quality and characteristics, the iPhone display wins over the pixels in all parameters. But also, I can't forget about the dynamic island feature on iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. This is a unique interface that helps you quickly switch to different activities, such as music, podcasts, watch the results of ongoing game online, or track your flight. And this is, uh, is only a small part, because various system activities also appear from it, such as silent mode, uh, low charge, Face ID and others. The Pixel just has a hole for the front camera. On the one hand, nothing new and uh, functional, but it takes less space, so such a small hole does not distract when you are watching content. The sound of the external speakers is better in the iPhone. Here it is both louder and richer, but it loses in a direct comparison. Pixel 7 Pro has the new Tensor G2 processor, and Google did not say anything about uh, the Tensor G2 on its presentation. Most likely due to the fact uh, that there is not much new here. Because in some benchmarks the smartphones stand behind competitors by 50% or more. If we compare with the iPhone 14 Pro Max, you can see almost a two-time gap in Geekbench. In the 3 Mark Extreme Test, uh, Apple also has an almost two-time advantage. And in browser benchmark, the Pixel is three times behind, which is not good at all. By the way, on the other hand, uh, the smartphone itself works quickly, and it is a pleasure to use it. Even games like uh, World of Tank Blitz and Call of Duty Mobile run in fine. However, if you load the smartphone with something like Genshin Impact uh, or Apex Legends Mobile, then the power will not be enough for the maximum graphics settings and the stable FPS. And it is okay if you are playing 10 or 12 minutes, but if you really like uh, mobile gaming, then I think you need to choose uh, another phone. Because the Pixel 7 Pro can dim the brightness uh, of of display, it uh, can be really hot and it drops the frames. In the stress test, uh, the smartphone loses up to 35% of power after only 5 minutes of the test. If you compare the power with the iPhone, the Pixel loses a lot. So it is not gaming smartphone at all, but it's normal. It's really fast in regular tasks. Ok, it would seem that everything should be perfect on the Pixel when we are talking about software. Because both hardware and software are from the same manufacturer, Google. And in general, I like the design of the interface and how everything works. But when you are use smartphone for a long time, everything is not so good. And even the standard interface sometimes renders slowly. I really don't like that from the main screen I can't remove the search and uh, the top widget that takes up the whole line. At this time, you can delete even standard applications on the iOS, even a wallet, notes, mail client and others. So if you want, you can change everything on your iPhone and on the Pixel you cannot uh, delete even the standard widgets from the main screen. Standard applications on iOS are much more powerful. For example, notes are a whole advanced hub, where you can work together with the files and add pictures and tables and all this between the text. You can create folders, smart folders and folders within folders. I keep everything in these notes, from my wishes for watching movies to my budget. And on the Pixel you have Google Keep. And the same thing about to do application. You have one on iOS and this is really powerful. And there is no one from the box in Android. In iOS there is an opportunity to place a widget uh, on the lock screen or make a stock of widgets uh, on the table. And iOS smartphones are updating for longer time, 6-7 years, when Google promises major updates only for 3 years. What does it look like in practice? The Pixel 4 just received uh, its last update uh, to Android 13. This is uh, 2019 smartphone and it will not receive any major updates from now. And on the other hand, we have iPhone XR, which was released in 2018. And it received iOS 16 and more it will be supported for another two or three years. So this is the difference. You can use a one year older device uh, on iOS and it is still updated to the last version of uh, operation system, when the newer Google Pixel is not. Ok, let's talk about battery life. The Pixel 7 Pro has a 5000 mAh battery. And in general the smartphone lives long enough. Regardless of the fact that uh, in all tests on YouTube the Pixel lags uh, far behind in the battery life, if you use it uh, 
uh, exactly uh, like a smartphone, then it lives uh, for quite a long time. I always have enough uh, of it for a day. Yes, it is still not uh, as good as iPhone for powerful load, but at all there is no any problem with the battery life. Okay, now in the end we will talk about the cameras. The Pixel camera is uh, considered better. It is like an axiom. If you need a cool camera, take a Pixel. Almost every YouTuber will tell you that in the Pixel 7 Pro you have the best camera system in any smartphone. However, I will say that it is not an axiom. It is a myth. And it can be or truth or not. Let's see. Yes, the Pixel phone has a good set of cameras. The main model is a 50 megapixel with 1.9 aperture. There is also a 48 megapixel telephoto camera, which has a 5x uh, zoom. Focal lens equivalent uh, is uh, 120 millimeters, and the aperture is f3.5. And the short model is a 20 megapixel ultra wide. It has autofocus and the ability to shoot in micro mode. The view of angle is 126 degrees. The photos from the main camera are really cool, but I can't say that they are better than what the iPhone does. Sometimes uh, iPhone is better, sometimes it's pixel, but the difference is really small. However, if we turn the RAW mode, the iPhone wins here, because uh, Pro RAW in uh, iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max now collects much more data, and most importantly it shoots in 48 megapixel, while the pixel allows even in RAW mode to shoot only in 12 megapixel. But at night even on the main model, the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max takes much more detailed pictures, which was a big surprise for me. I thought the Pixel will be better here. The ultra wide takes good photos during the day, just like the iPhone, but in the evening the situation changes and the Pixel really stays behind. I really like uh, telephoto 5x zoom. Yes, iPhone also has a telephoto lens, but it is uh, more suitable for those who need a regular camera with the equivalent focal lens of uh, 77 millimeters. And on Pixel you can even make photo of the mountains. That is cool. I'd give my vote for the Pixel. 10.8 megapixel front camera without autofocus on Pixel is loses and stand behind iPhone's one. Because on iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max the resolution is higher, 12 megapixel, and there is an autofocus. And you can even record the videos in 4K 60. On Pixel is only 4K 30 is available. But now to the video capabilities. And here Pixel is drained. If you are shooting video with the main model during the day, it is quite high quality. And the sound is even better for me in Pixel phone. The video recorded quite poorly, even on the main camera. The ultrawide shoots very poorly even during the day. Here you can see a lot of noise even in daylight and software aberrations around the people and other objects. But in the evening the quality is just like on my old Siemens, uh, I don't know, C45 maybe. Just look at it uh, compared to the ultra wide camera on iPhone. Yes, there are two. The quality is not cinematic, but this video can be used. There is also an action mode in the Pixel phone, but you can only shoot in uh, 1080p, while on iPhone up to 2.8K. Cinematic mode is another story. The Pixel writes uh, in 1080p without the ability to adjust uh, the depths uh, or adjust uh, anything. At the same time, the quality is no way comparable to to that of the iPhone. Take a look for example. On the iPhone you can shoot in 4K 24 or 30 frames per second. You can choose the brightness before shooting or even after. Even the focus can be changed already on the recorded video. As you can see in almost all camera scenarios the Pixel loses. Yes, it takes good photos but uh, everything else is much worse than on the iPhone. So unfortunately in my experience uh, cameras uh, on Pixel 7 Pro is much worse than iPhone ones, especially for shooting video. But in the end, uh, the Pixel 7 Pro is really good phone, and uh, if you really like Android, uh, I can recommend it uh, to buy. But if you don't care about uh, operation system, I will tell that you need to buy iPhone. Yes, the price difference of the phones is uh, 200 bucks, but you need to understand that 900 bucks or 1100 bucks is uh, the big price at all. And in my opinion, iPhone is better more than 200 boxes than Pixel 7 Pro. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and leave your likes and comments.